Good evening. Tonight's edition of 60 Minutes is the untold story of the Jewish Partisans. The Jewish Partisans were hidden resistance groups during World War II. These groups consisted of strong-willed Jews who took responsibility for their own fate. The Jewish Partisans, in fact, fought back, saving and protecting the lives of thousands. Tonight you will hear the story of Don Felsen through the eyes of his son Elliot Felsen. Don Felsen and his brother, who were Jewish partisans in the land of Poland and Russia. We have our new addition to 60 Minutes tonight, and I'd like to introduce you to Jake Carr. Your father and uncle were Jewish partisans in Poland. Can you please tell us how they became Jewish partisans? Once, once the, the Germans, um, uh, after they started, after the war was started, and, and all the Jews were put in, in their town into a ghetto. And um, my father, in one way or the other, um, got a job in, in a hospital that, that serviced uh, the, the Russian prisoners of war. And so my father would go there every day. And, and his brother, his older brother, uh, Zalman, um, was back um, in the ghetto, living in the ghetto, for um, some time, and um, as conditions got worse, um, and people people would talk, and they would hear about the Jewish partisans who were uh, fighting in the forests and fighting against the Nazis in the forests, and so my my uncle Zalman, um, had, along with uh, a number of other uh, men at the time, snuck out and somehow joined the partisans and was was fighting with the partisans for uh, about, about six months in the forest. One day, um, Zalman came back into the ghetto and looked like he hadn't uh, eaten maybe in months, and he looked like a homeless person. And he came back and he, he came to find my dad and to get him out. And one thing led to the next, and uh, in fact, the doctor that my father was working under, um, he, this doctor, turned out, was not a Nazi. He was German, but he apparently liked my father and felt some kind of, you know, uh, you know, he liked my father in some some way, and and uh, had some advance warning that something was going to happen and that they were going to liquidate part of the, the ghetto the next day. And what I mean liquidate, um, they, they kept bringing more and more people from other towns, from other areas, into this ghetto. And so every day there were more and more people um, living in this, in this town in a, in a smaller and smaller area. And, and sometimes they'd have four or five families living in one small house. In, a, in, in like a two-room house. And um, so this next day, they um, were going to liquidate and, and murder uh, maybe a thousand people. And it, it was right at the same time that his brother had come to find him and tell him to go with him and join the partisans in the forest. So that's really how it happened. He, he uh, was was uh, met by his brother, and the next day, they they left with with their mother and little brother, and uh, and their father decided not to leave. How did they get out of the ghetto? To sneak out. Apparently, there were there weren't enough um, Nazis to really keep everybody in. How long were they hiding in the forests of Poland and Russia? When they first went, uh, when they first joined the partisans, was in um, the latter half of 1942 um, and in, in 43, and they they uh, stayed with the partisans for until 1944. So they really lived in the in the forests for about a year and a half, almost two years. 
How old were they when they got they in? They joined the Partisans uh, in 1942. My father would have been 17. And his older brother, Zalman, would have been 19 years old. How does your father and his Partisan group obtain items such as food and uh, They guns? never had a shortage. There was never a shortage of food. They would go in uh, to a town. Um, they'd come out of the forest and go into a town at night. Um, you know, in the, in the cover of darkness, and they they knew they knew everybody. They knew who had um, animals, pigs, chickens, who had sacks of potatoes. I mean, everybody had this stuff primarily, and um, so they would go into town and they would take. After the war was over and the Jewish partisans were liberated, where did your dad and his brother After go? After the war was over, um, the uh, my my. Father and my uncle uh, joined the Russian army and fought until the, really until the, the, the true war. So at the time, you know they they you know the war was over and and uh, they were looking at where to go and and they knew that that their aunt they had their mother's sister they knew was living in San Francisco. They were able to uh, to make their way to San Francisco, and they got sponsorship from their auntie Katie. Thank you, Jacob.